Alright, so I arrived at Cinnabar Island in the last video, but I haven't really talked with anybody just yet. The gym, the, the gym, I was going to say gym leader, but the gym itself is all locked up, and you have to find the key in the Pokemon Mansion. But before that, that that'll probably be the next, be the next video, going to the Pokemon Mansion. In this video, I got to explore Cinnabar Island, check out everything, especially the uh, Pokemon Lab. And this guy. Trade Grimer for Grimer. Cantonian Grimer for Alolan Grimer. And it's usually best to save before you trade or get Pokemon or anything like that because then you can reset if you want a certain nature. Although with trades, you can just keep trading over and over and over. So. Donnie Darko. I just had to turn on my fan for a second. Let's check it out. Let's check out my new grammar. Wait, where is it? There it is. Lax. Near. What? Ah, oh, I got screwed over. Well, great attack and great at HP, but come on. Nature's not even that great. I can always catch another Grimer. I was actually thinking of using a Grimer and a Muck with my team while rotating it out because that's a Pokemon that I haven't really used and it seems pretty decent, kind of like Kingler. And there goes the dogs. <clears throat> oh yeah. But I need to fly back to Celadon actually to buy like those TMs and another water stone for my shelter that I got. I still have enough, uh, what you, ball, <laughs> poke balls. I have enough poke balls, great balls, ultra balls. Need some more potions though, and revives. So expensive. They actually put a quiz for finding the key. That's pretty cool, since he's the quiz master. And that's awesome that they made the Pokemon Mansion actually look old and abandoned. One of those weird islanders, an island native. Dude, my uh, my controller just started acting weird. That's why I was going left. This controller keeps desyncing for some reason. I don't know what's up with it. But anyways. So the Cinnabar Lab's founder was Dr. Fuji. I think they might have mentioned that in the manga, but I don't fully remember. I know they didn't mention, I'm pretty sure they didn't mention it in the original first generation games. But that's some extra backstory. Dr. Fuji, uh, Blaine, part of the Pokemon Lab research, Mew and Mewtwo. I wonder if they're gonna change that origin story with Mewtwo.
Taunt's actually very good if you're facing Pokemon that only do those stupid status moves. Poison, Powder, and and Confusion and all that junk. Then they have to uh, use damaging moves. And if they don't have damaging moves, I think they use Struggle. The washing machine. The washing machine. right here because this is yeah because uh this is where you revive the ancient pokemon fossil dna stuff for what it is and i want to make sure i have good stats and good natures people about that that sign you said that supposedly was on Cinnabar you said that there's oh, a sign yeah okay um so there's a sign which honestly probably refers to Mewtwo but as a kid uh, in the original red and blue you could catch missing now off of the um, the coast of Cinnabar that's what you did you talked to the guy who taught you how to catch Pokemon and then you flew to Cinnabar and then basically the last place that you were in a grass area, those Pokemon show up alongside Missing Now. So that was also how you caught stuff from like the Safari Zone. That's why I got my Chansey and my Tauros and everything. I said, fuck that. I never ever caught a Chansey and Tauros in the Safari Zone. So, uh, <clears throat> but anyway, so. I did. I caught them legitimately. Oh, I don't care. That's great. I did it way easier and I probably didn't have an aneurysm over it. Um, like, I remember just finding the wooden teeth and being like, fuck that, guess I'm not getting 150, or like, no, I was thinking, I was like, my my friend Tyler at the time, I was like, I'll just make him trade me his just for uh, the Pokedex. Um, but anyway, so there's like a whole reason behind Missing No, it was the, the accumulation of, um, fuck, I'm trying to think of the name, they're called Hex somethings, it's like each step that you take is called, it's like, a, I think it's a hex decimal, I don't know, either way there was like a cumulative leftover and um, that's what and that cumulative leftover fill in, filled in where Mew was supposed to be and that's also why Mew is in the game but since you have to also go and glitch Mew to get him to show up, there's just this, there's like random holes in the game where nothing was assigned and that's what Missing No is, basically and uh but they're aware that it's there like they put it there but it wasn't completely intentional it was more like there's a mistake it can't really like fuck up the game that bad it just doesn't happen you know like games were back then and uh if there's a sign on Cinnabar Island in the old game I will I'll find it and then I'll I'll give you like a screenshot or whatever but it said something about um looking out for an experiment that nobody really understood. And it's like, okay, yeah, it's probably Mewtwo, but at the same time, it happens to be in the exact spot, the only spot where you can get missing now. So I think it's a cool little, I would like to think personally, it's like a cool little shout out to this sort of enigma that millennials encountered during the Pokemon series. Yeah, I guess that's pretty much the the end of this video. I was just gonna just do this video exploring Sinbar Island, and I already did. It's a small island, so the next video I'm actually gonna go into the Pokemon Mansion and capture some Pokemon, fight some people and that stuff. That sign right there. The sign above Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Pokemon Lab. <clears throat> yep. They, oh, that's what it was. They were talking about how um, it was a failed experiment in the lab. 
And that's another reason why I thought it was missing now, because it was very specifically that lab, and it happened to be off the coast of Cinnabar Island, and Mewtwo was not created in the coast of Cinnabar Island, or the lab of Cinnabar Island, was he? I, well, I thought the, the that's, lab was that's also what I'm worried about with this game, because in the original, they said <clears throat> Mewtwo was born from you. But in the show... Yes, but in oh, the show, that's shit. why I I'm saying I don't that. know if they're going to change it now. No, I honestly never realized that, but you're right, it's totally different. It's like I had both facts in my head, but I never contested them till just now. 